Hello everyone, welcome to challenge three by... Tiny Venus. What was that? Tiny Venus. Huh? Tiny Venus. Oh, Tiny Venus. Living on Moontown isn't always a luxury. With 2,000 people on Moontown, the citizens are consistently working hard on developing the future of the colony, which is why Tiny Venus is tasked to come up with the solution to help improve the mental well-being for the lunar community. Sleep deprivation occurs when one lacks sleep, caused by overworking and struggling to stay asleep. The people of Moontown are currently working on large projects with tight deadlines, requiring long hours of work. This also means that there is less time for the community to gain social interactions as the majority are consumed in their work and don't have an ideal work-life balance, causing them to be socially isolated and stressed. COVID-19 was a pandemic outbreak that occurred on Earth that caused a worldwide lockdown in 2020. It was recorded by the World Health Organization that there was a 25% increase of anxiety and depression worldwide. It put the world's health, mental health at stake as people weren't able to physically see each other that weren't living in the same household and were only allowed outside for essentials. The current people living on Moontown have family and friends that are still living down on Earth as they are deployed to the moon to complete their missions. They may feel socially isolated as they are surrounded with people they are not too familiar with and don't have the time to develop strong bonds with these people on Moontown. As a human, developing connections with others is highly important. However, conflict can still occur within relationships. As the population of Moontown grows, disagreements between people are bound to occur. Having a leisure space where the future friends and family can come together to weekly events run for community could help improve these relationships and the well-being for the citizens of the moon town. In the pursuit of lunar exploration, astronauts face huge challenges and sacrifices. Their day are dedicated to pushing the boundary of science knowledge from early morning until late at night. That will affect their physical and mental health. It will lead to stress, low interest in their mission and risking their well-being. Moving on, there is no wind, which means there is no sun on the moon. As a result, it will make astronauts stress even more. Move to another point, there are limited resources where it is hard to build with significant engineering and operational building. We decided to look at three different possible solutions to our problem. Building a health centre, a fun centre and an observational building could all increase both the mental and physical health of the people on the moon and help them enjoy their lives more. Once identifying our problem and our solution to the problem, we decided to look at some designs for inspiration. We first decided to look at cool abstract space-like buildings that could fit the brief. These designs that used UFO shaped structures really stood out to us. We then discovered how old shipping containers are being recycled and turned into buildings. We found this really relevant to what we were trying to design as the structures are quick to build, cost-effective, use recycled goods, and can be moved and shaped to portray a number of different building designs. Uh, just going over the key design drivers of our uh, construction system. First of all, it has to be portable uh, to ensure that it's able to be transported all over Moontown. We're intending to do this by making it collapsible. Um, we're hoping to be customizable so it can create a plethora of different styles so it can um, create a safe space for whatever it's intended. I'm um, hoping for it to be self-making using AI technology that will be able to um, transform it into whatever sort of building design it needs to be and we're hoping for it to be protective so that it can protect the residents who are using it at that current time. We then came up with a few ideas for our modular lunar construction. The idea of a quick built tent that used recycled parachutes left on the moon was one of our first ideas. We then explored the construction of boxes that could join together to build larger structures quickly and effectively. We also had the idea of, of a building that could transform into different sizes by moving into itself. We decided to go with the box design as our final solution to the problem. This is an example of how it would look and fold. This is a mock-up of how the gym health centre would look and the layout of the cubes. 
We are then showing how the exact same cube design can be transformed into a different building shape entirely. This simple rectangular building would be the leisure centre for the Moon residents to enjoy. Finally, our building blocks could be transformed into this formation for an observatory deck to enjoy space's wonders and can also be used for science experiments as well. We then had to look at what material this structure could be made of. Carbon fiber is strong, lightweight, for structure, reinforced polymer composites. Roofing blanket roof it for your facing and maintain a stable internal environment for boxes. It will maintain temperature, offer fire protection, and environmentally friendly. Controlling the atmosphere within the box is adjusting the level of gases to match the specified cargo load. Energy is an essential aspect of Luna boxes. Functionality with two primary sources of energy are lithium battery and solar power. The base of Luna boxes is made of metal. Aluminium provides improved strength and structural resistance. It costs saving and available material for construction. Lastly, a plumbing system is important for providing clean water, maintain sanitation within the box. It allows water refilling when needed and ensure the proper disposal of wastewater. New Venus has decided to implement the use of AI technology in the construction system to allow for the efficient for formation of multiple shapes. This indicates that the blocks have been programmed with a back-end system that executes its instructed tasks such as being able to rotate around and change shape. The Journey Map Stage 1 the flat pack blocks gets transported via cargo truck to the assigned destination. Stage 2. The truck stops at the first point of the three preset destination, which is at three centres. Stage 3. Flat pack blocks come out through the conveyor belt of the cargo truck, which was built in Challenge 2. Stage 4. Flat pack blocks pop up into a building block to form the structure of the centre. Stage 5. The truck continues to move on to the next preset point or points of the coordinates of the same building to unload the blocks. So this means the truck would just drive forward or backwards um, to the coordinates to unload the blocks. Stage 6. The truck finishes dropping off the blocks for the one building and it will move to its next destination for the second building. Stage 7. The truck returns back to its starting point after unloading all the blocks for the three centres. Bye!